Okay. Awesome. So in this video, we're going to be talking about how to maximize what's inside of your Facebook group. Now that we have the settings put together, we have the cover full put together as far as the formula hook, build up, present value and call to action. And then you also have your three group approval questions. Now we're going to be talking about a couple aspects with inside the Facebook group to make sure that it's interactive, to make sure that it's ongoing and that it's timeless, but applicable. Okay. So in sharing my screen, show you guys right here inside of our group. Okay. So we added these questions, right? Now I'm not, again, I'm not taking the time to do every single thing I'm saying. So as you can see, the description says description here, do the hook build up present value, right? I'm not going to type that out because I'm not going to take the time to do so, but I encourage you guys to do it as you're hearing it, not binge watch it like Netflix, but actually execute the information of what we talk about. That way your group is set up and it's ready to have a call to action from a short form video from YouTube into a funnel of your Facebook group, especially something like email in the PS, as you guys will hear if you haven't already in that video, having it in the PS for your email. Hey, join my exclusive group, join my free marketing tips group, join my free entrepreneur group, whatever it is, will allow people to really want to engage with you. And again, be in your circle, which does what increases retention. So in, um, in your Facebook video here or your Facebook group here, what you're going to want to do is create a welcome post. Now the welcome post is going to follow the exact same formula. People need to know why they want to read what your welcome post is when they get tagged in that meaning that you can't just say, welcome, let's welcome our new members. Nope. Who cares? you're going to want to actually welcome them and have it be something that they want to read through, okay? So when you're putting something in your post, first you add a photo. Adding a photo in a welcome post is really, really helpful. Whether that is you're adding a cute photo that says welcome and it's in your colors and your brand, or it's a photo, let's see, let's see if I can find one for you guys so you can see. Or it's a photo. Let's just say this, this picture says, welcome to my Facebook group. Okay. I'm just putting something there so you guys can see it, but it's my branding. It's a picture of me. The lighting is good. The colors are memorable. All of those things, right? When you do a welcome post, you're not just going to be saying, welcome in. You're going to be doing something that looks like, let's see if I can share the one that I have right now. Okay. This is my current group right now. Okay. My welcome is a video. You can do a video for this purpose right now. We are going to say, welcome to the group. Okay. Here's an example. What does it start out with? A hook. Let's actually, maybe we can make this bigger so you guys can see it. What does it start out with? A hook. Want to know how to make three to 7K monthly all from home? Good. You're in the right spot. Now let's shoot it to you straight. Why be in the group if you're not going to communicate? I'm immediately doing a takeaway. Why? Because the buildup is, hey, this might not be a fit for you. Prove that I'm wrong, that it is a fit for you and take action, okay? Um, let's shoot it to you straight. Communicate with me to see what you resonate with. If you think you have what it takes, send me a direct message, which they already said yes or no to a direct message anyway, because they got into the group from those three of group approval questions, right? So what you're going to want to do is do a couple takeaways, a couple tie downs. Only people who are serious about working from home will stay in this group. And it's not because you hate their guts. It's because you want people who want to take action. Okay. And then <clears throat> you're giving a little bit of what build up and value. Action cures fear. It does. You guys have heard that phrase before, I'm sure. Let's crush and raise those desired results now. DM me now. Again, call to action at the bottom. Here's my link, right? You're going to follow the same formula. And if you do a, if you do a photo like this, that's awesome. It's a way of branding. It's exciting. If you want to do something that looks similar to this, like here, okay, this thumbnail, Welcome to my Facebook group. Spoiler, income proof shown. They want to click into it. They want to either watch that video or the post like we just mentioned because you're starting out with a hook. 
Again, good picture of me, good lighting, my colors, my brand. Okay. Now you're not just saying welcome in. In fact, when you go to the members area and you can tag people, okay, we'll give the example again of my group because I don't have anyone in this group. When you have people to welcome, you're going to go to the members tab. This is going to take more time, but that's okay. Okay. 11 new members this week. So what that means is I would, I could either write a welcome post like this, which is boring as all get out, or I can take these people, copy them. I mean, it's in the wrong group, but you understand what I mean. If I go into discussion, maybe, and I write a welcome post, okay, hook, build up, value, CTA, okay, if I write a welcome post and I start tagging these people, that Heidi Lawn name will highlight so it's tagging her specifically. The difference is though, I have my hook build up and call to action here and I do not, I post it, right? One time you post it. That is key. You post the welcome post one time. It is not every single day or every single week you are going in like this into your members area and having this boring thing. Welcome our new members. Yep, who cares, right? You want it, in my opinion, to be a timeless ongoing thing. So this is where it's going to take a little bit of time for you. If here's my welcome post, just again as the example, and I comment something like, welcome in, I am stoked you're here. Be sure to check your DM, blah, blah, blah. Be sure to check your direct message because I've sent you a private message right now, right? You say something like that and then you shift and enter down so it doesn't post it. And then you can start tagging people. My husband's in this group for this purpose. So if I were to tag him, see how his name goes blue. And if I were to paste these names, let's say they're all in this group, not the other one is the example. If I go to the end of it, it will highlight and I can actually tag Heidi Lawn. Does that make sense? So 11 new members are now tagged in the post itself, which is ongoing, it's timeless. It's not just spamming every single time you get a new member. You're using one post to your advantage by having it be its own standalone post like this, okay? I'm following the formula of hook, build up, present value, and call to action with my link at the bottom. And then there's 89 comments. And you can see, I say things and I take the time to tag new people every single day, every single week, depending how quickly you're growing, okay? Welcome in. I've sent you each a direct message. If you didn't get it, message me first. You're here on purpose. Now's the time to act like it. Let's chat and see if this is your fit, okay? And then I tag all these people. Now, instead of it clogging the news feed and you seeing so much about welcome in new members, welcome in new members, it's one post that is timeless that allows them to just have one thing saying welcome in, which is good. It makes them more organized for your group, okay? Now, <clears throat> in your, let's see, guide section, remember how in the settings we put together a guide section? Now you have guides as, remember this, I'm just gonna recap it because I went over it fast. In your guide section down here at the bottom, Let's see, where is it? In your guide section, which I cannot find right now. Do, do, do. You guys know where the guide section is, okay? If you don't see it, go back to the video before this so you can know where the guide section is. But you're going to have your guide section right here. And this is what I recommend having, okay? how to get started in the online space that needs to be a guide in and of itself, which we'll show you here how to do in a moment, how to get started in the online space, something that allows them to connect with you. Okay. So for me, I have a podcast and then communicating with me. So here you would include something like your Facebook page, your Instagram page. Maybe you have Telegram, maybe you have Slack, maybe you have Skype. Maybe you want them to direct message you. Maybe you want to have an entire section of your YouTube channel. Okay. 
direct involvement, anything that you sell. So for me, I have people pay for a session with me. You could have direct involvement as well. Now, these four guides I recommend having on top of that, I would recommend having a guide that is specific to, let's see if we can go back here. Let's go back. Come on. <laughs> I would recommend having your guide section reflect those four things. Okay. Direct communication, how they can get involved with you. So your direct offer, their sign up page, things like that. And then if you have anything else for them, like for me, a podcast as the example, because, or your YouTube channel even more effectively, because when they know that they can go to a guide section and be directed in a specific way, they're more likely to take action. So having the guide section is super, super important. Okay. So in creating a guide, you're going to go to up here. Okay. The guide section again on your desktop guide section, start guide, direct communication with me. Okay. And then blah, blah, blah. It's about that. Okay. And then I'll press save the guide description obviously is not going to be J K F L D S. It's going to be, what is the point of direct communication with you? Again, following the formula of hook, build up, present value, and call to action. Now in a description like this, it doesn't need to be more than a couple sentences, maybe a paragraph. It doesn't need to be this big, long thing like your welcome post is going to be, right? It's going to be something where it says direct communication with me. Let's talk and see if this is your fit. I'm excited to chat with you. It could be something as simple as that, okay? And then when you create post, let's say you go you know, to your YouTube channel. My YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Kirsty Snyder. That one, when I go to create, let's see, subscribe to my YouTube. Okay. And then I'll put that link there. Then it just automatically does the hyperlink. Okay. And then I'm good to go. You can post it. You can leave it as simple as that. But the reason you want a guide section again Okay, if you're taking notes, the reason you want a guide section again is because you want a person to come in and feel organized. So first there's one standing, timeless, evergreen welcome post, which yes, will take more time, so to speak, to pull the members who are new and copy and paste them over into one post rather than just a post that's automatically generated for you. But think of it this way. If you're a new person who wants to make money online, and you say you're exactly a stay-at-home mom and you feel that that inspires you, you don't want it to be cluttered. You want to have a direct call to action. And the more organized your Facebook group can be, the less cluttered it is, the more likely they're going to do something with you, whether it's a direct message, whether it's involving themselves with your communication, your YouTube, whatever it is, because it's very clear what they can do. If your Facebook group has a lot of this and that and shared things from other people, they don't know what to hone in on. Okay. Which means they don't take action because they feel confused. Even if what you do is very simple, which a lot of us online marketers, it is simple. That's how it's meant to be. A new person in this space is not going to understand that they won't know that. So to have an ongoing welcome post and then a guide section, which include direct communication with you, a featured something like, you know, a YouTube channel, or for me, as you guys saw a podcast, and then how to get involved with you. Those are the three main things. Now there were four, but those are the three main things that you want them to directly do so that they have the right information. So when it's enroll with you guide, you would have your VSL, whatever your offer is. You would have it go to that direct link. You could also have something for YouTube if you have a series, which you guys know based on the YouTube content inside this training. So have it be very specific, have it be timeless, have it be where it's not cluttered because a person doesn't want to come in and just see welcome, welcome, welcome. They want to know why that person's being welcomed, which is the formula of hook, build up, present value and call to action. Now on top of that, you can also go to the bonus section of Facebook here in this, in this training, because Having Facebook lives, there is a specific rhyme and reason to doing that effectively within your Facebook group, which we'll get to. So stay tuned for that next video with inside your Facebook group. Here's what you want to have guide section for organizations. So they have a direct call to action. 
Okay. Following the formula, as we keep mentioning, you want an ongoing timeless or evergreen welcome post where you take the time to tag them in the comments, not the post itself, but in the comments, which includes a picture of you or a video saying, Hey, welcome. Let's talk, whatever it is. Okay. Picture of you needs to be postured. It needs to be good lighting needs to be welcoming of some sort. Okay. Or you can do it simply and say, welcome to the group, have it be colorful, things like that, as you saw. Now, from there, what you're going to want to include inside your Facebook group, along with the live videos, which we'll get to in another training, is you want to have call to action for engagement, where you are not making it this long thing. You're making it so it's, hey, if I had a way to teach you how to make $300 a week, would you be interested? And then you, you know, comment yes below. And then you have a bunch of comments because it, what hook and build up. You haven't even presented the value yet. You're just dangling the carrot. So you're going to want that type of content in your group once to twice a week, no more than twice. Okay. And then from there, along with your live videos, which we'll get to, as I mentioned, from there, you're going to want to have a congratulatory type of post that's ongoing. Okay. So let's say your business is ABC affiliate marketing. Okay. If you have a post that's ongoing that says, congrats to our ABC affiliate marketers. Thanks for taking action. Great job, whatever. Then same thing. That post could be a picture of you with people. It could be a picture of just you saying good job. It could be just wording that says, congrats to our ABC affiliate marketers good job taking action, right? When you have a post like that, and then you use the formula and the description of that post of hook, build up, value, call to action, you will see a very engaged audience, okay? You're using that formula through and through, no matter what type of platform you're on, hook, build up, present value, call to action. So when you have an ongoing timeless post that congratulates someone, when you enroll another member into your program, your affiliate marketing, your networking, whatever it is, you can then tag them and say, congrats, Kirstie Snyder for taking action into blah, blah, blah. And then that person gets notified. Other people will see that because it boosts it back into the algorithm. And when it's an ongoing post and there's a ton of comments on that one congrats post for all these action takers, a new person comes in, it feels organized. They they can see, wow, all these people are involved. Wow, I should really take it seriously, right? And then instead of a standalone or instead of an ongoing thing where it's welcome this person, welcome this person, welcome this person clogging the feed, it's just one post, which gives what? Clarity and organization and relatability. So if someone comes in and they see there's one welcome post that's ongoing, wow, she's increasing a lot of people. Wow, there's a lot of demand for this. It's organized, it's timely, okay? On top of that, there's a guide section for them to discover what to do and how to do it because it's very direct for them. It feels organized, not cluttered. And then on top of that, there's a congratulatory type of post that's ongoing where again, you're following the formula, hook, build up, present value and call to action within the description. There's a picture that says, congrats, good job, all these action takers. The new person who comes in feels organized. They want to be involved with you because there's not a lot of going on. There's very direct things happening, okay? On top of that, when a person gets into your group and they answer those three questions, now you've really set the premise for why they want to stay in that group with it being organized, okay? So let me just double check my notes to make sure that I didn't forget anything. Um, <clears throat> pinned posts, that's the last thing. So I'll share my screen again, okay? In your pinned posts, you are going to want to, let's go back to discussion here. In your pinned posts, a pinned post needs to be one of these three things either an ongoing, no matter what you have to and desire people to see it all the time, which would be a webinar. It would be an engagement post with a lot of comments. It would be something that gives a call to action, whether that is the congratulatory post because you want people to see that from the beginning or it's the welcome post. As you guys saw in here, okay, let's go. 
back so you guys can see it. Oops. Mm -mm -mm. Let's see. Where did it go? There we are. Your pinned post. Okay. How to do a pinned post would be you go here and you pin it. Pin to featured. What that means, and I'll just refresh so you guys can see it, is when a brand new person gets involved with the group, they can see here's something to focus on, which again gives them what? Clarity for moving forward. It's organized. It's not cluttered. If right here it says, discover how to make 7,000 within seven weeks. First, it's memorable because that's what my cover photo says. And then it's down here. And then I do a build up, present value and give them a call to action. And it's a welcome post saying, hey, I'm so glad you're here. They're more likely to click on it, which means they're more likely to do what? Take action, okay? So feature posts, you want it to be one ongoing thing that's timeless. So like a welcome post, a congratulatory type of thing, okay? And then if you did, you know, a live video that had a lot of information, had a lot of comments and interaction, you also want one featured post to be something timely where it's like, recent. It's that week. It's something you did yesterday. It's something that is engaging. There is build up for it. Okay. So two featured posts all the time. One that is timeless, something that's evergreen again, like a welcome, uh, welcome post and photo, a congratulatory post photo, that kind of thing for the action takers. And you want it to be something that's timely. So for me, as we discuss live videos, when you do an effective live video, you could have a recent live video be there so that a person can see, wow, she was live on the third. Oh, I should go watch that. It's only the fifth, right? And then you can switch those things out, but have one featured post of where they could go. It's like a first impression, have a featured post for where they could go as soon as they get into the group. Okay. And then on the last video, we'll talk a couple bonuses about Facebook lives, DMs, things like that. Stay tuned. Talk to you then.